Well, welcome to my second vlog. Um, back on the Syndicate Lake again. Got here around about half 10, quarter 11 this morning. Had a bit of a wander around. There's no one else here, just me again. I'm all on my own. Um, so I had a wander around. Um, haven't really seen anything. So what I decided to do was drop into a swim. They call it a boy swim. It has been quite productive through, through the winter months. One of the locals on here um, has done really well. So it was a bit of a no brainer, really. Let's come over here and give it a go. Um, he did tell me a few of the spots so just to run you through quickly right hand rod i've got out around about three and a half reps um, i'm fishing at the bottom of a shelf there and that i've pulled over about half a k of boilie over the top of that that's the new promino from northern baits middle rod i've got eight, eight and a half wraps out there's a lovely clear area um quite firm area out there that's on again on a little ronnie rig that one, though, I um, spotted about six, six to eight spots of um, mixed particle, hemp, corn, um, chopped and whole boilies, those being the milky aminos from Northern Baits. Um, right, left hand rod is at um, five and a half wraps, and I've got a great little marker. I've got a, I've got a dirty great pylon to go at. So, and again, that's on a nice, um, firm, clear area. Um, that one I've got on a little snowman rig, and again I've put around about sort of six spots of the uh, spot mix and chopped a whole boil over the top of that. Um, so that's where the rods are at the moment. Um, there is a bit of a cold northerly wind blowing, and I haven't really seen anything. I've got you see, I've got all the house up, so I'm all settled in. Took me about two barrel loads to get all the gear around here because we always bring a load of gear, don't we, lads? Far, far too much probably. But anyway, so that's me rattling, stop rattling on, I suppose. I'm going to carry on, drink me brew, carry on watching the water, sitting in this cold northerly wind. I'll see you soon. Well, we're off the mark, but sadly, not with a carp, but take a look at this. Absolutely cracking tench. Look at him. What an absolute beauty. Just thought I just had to show you it. What an absolutely cracking tinch. Right, gonna go and get it back. Rod's already back out on the spot. So hopefully next time, it'll be a carp. But take, take a look at that. He's absolutely gorgeous. Well, we're off the mark with that fabulous tinch. Don't mind having a tinch. It's just a fantastic indication that the rigs are working, the bait is being presented properly. So I'm well happy with that. The rigs back out on the spot again, topped up with a couple of more spots. So fingers crossed we're going to have a carp tonight. Hopefully I'll see you then. If not, I'll see you in the morning. There you go. It's just coming up to quarter to one in the morning. It's really cold out here. And we're off the mark with the first carp. A lovely long ling common this one. Right hand rod at that three and a half wrap spot over that Promino, the new bait from um, Northern Baits. This one couldn't resist it. Bit bigger than the one we had last time. So what I say, we're off the mark, but I'm well chuffed. What a lovely long lean common. Right, I'm going to go and get this one back. Let's get that rod back out on the spot. Let's see if we can have another one. Well, we're up and running. Really pleased. Lovely little common, probably around about 12, 13 pound. Don't matter about the size, it was absolutely stunning. At that one o'clock this morning, it was absolutely freezing. We had a bit of a frost as well here. As you've seen, I've already had the kettle on. I'm having my celebration recupper as always. Um, four English is on the go soon. So I only didn't get the rods re-salted back out, rebated. Quite surprised I didn't have nothing to the middle rod. I told that was probably going to be my banker rod by a couple of lads popped down and seen me yesterday. And they said, ah, oh, that one will be short, short to go. Saying that, we did have potential on that one, actually. Um, so I say, I'm going to go and get myself sorted out, get that full English on the go, get all my stuff tidied up, carry on drinking this brew. Absolutely lovely, really need this. It is absolutely freezing out here. Right, so that's me waffling on enough, I think. Um, I'll speak to you soon.
Right, it's coming up to 11 o'clock now, still no joy. I've brought all, reeled all the rods in, re-wrapped them up, and over each spot, I've just done about half a dozen spots of the old mix with mixed boilie, crushed boilie, hemp and everything in that, like, like, like I told you before. I'm gonna go and have a wander around the lake, just to stretch my legs. I need to pick up a few bits from the van as well. When I get back, I'm gonna re-top up the swim with a couple of more spots, just in case there's anything in the area, just to push the fish out if they are over the areas. Get the rods back out, sit down, have a brew. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have something. It has started to warm up, actually. The sun's trying to get out just in front of me here. Um, still a lot of cloud cover, so hopefully it's gonna stay a little bit warmer tonight and it might get them back on the feed. So until then, I'll see you later. Well, good morning, it's just coming up to 7 a.m. It's Thursday morning. Nothing to report, I'm afraid. Um, got the rods back out yesterday around about half one, two o'clock. And basically that's where they stayed silent since. Really cold night again last night. Haven't even heard anything, not seen anything. I've been sitting here since first light. Not seen a suit, had a few cups of tea though, keep me warm. It, well, I say it's been cold, it's still quite chilly now. Really cloudy again, to, still cloudy this morning. But you never know, I'm here for another couple of hours, I think, I'm gonna give it and then start doing a slow pack up. But you never know, that rod could rip off at any time. So I'm gonna carry on, finish my tea, watching the water. See you later. Well, that's it, come to the end of the session, all the gear's back in the motor, and I'm so sorry to say I've had a fabulous time. Second session in, and I'm gradually learning more and more about the lake. Um, we kicked off with that gorgeous tench, and then followed by that lovely little common carp. Okay, it's not one of the monsters that reside in here, but at some point, I'm sure they're gonna come along. Weather-wise, we had that frost Monday night, I think that may have knocked them off the feed a little bit, and Tuesday night and last night were just as cold, but not frosty. Typical though, as we're packing up and going home, the sun's decided to come out. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be lucky, and I'll see you soon.